Hello, good morning once again, my dear Matthew 5 students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. Now, today we're going to continue our lesson about finding the mode of uh, certain data. Okay? But before we start, we have here our exercise for the last meeting. Okay, so we have here uh, for letter A, we're going to figure out the, the mode for this group of uh, data, for the N group data. And for letter B, we're going to calculate the mode for uh, the data presented. Okay? Now for number one and number two, so we're going to figure out the mode for this. And uh, from the data given, we have the most frequent number is number eight and three right so our modes for this uh, data set is our three and eight okay or we call it by model now for number two we have for this data set we have uh, 32 right so 32 is our mode for this okay so we have only one mode now for letter B we have here already the table and uh, we're going to figure out the mode for this using the group data okay now we have here the solution in the next slide okay here now we have here the table again and uh, we're going to look at the frequency okay so we're going to find first what is the model class okay by looking at the frequency the most frequent frequency okay so we can see here that it's here, so we have two classes having the same number of uh, frequency, okay, which is five. So therefore, we can say that um, we have two modes for this group of data. Nah, this class here and this one. Nah, okay. Now we're going to figure out first the mode for the first model class, which is uh, from 35 to 41. That one. So we're going to base all our data from this model class now the formula we have this one the the mode is equal to the lower boundary plus uh, the difference of the frequency the model class minus the before the model class and d2 is the model class uh, minus the frequency after the model class and i is the class interval or the height now so we have here first the the, the uh, values. So the lower boundary we have here 35 minus 0 0.5 that would be 34.5. Then uh, d1 d1 is uh, the frequency of the model class minus uh, the frequency before the model class that is 3. So 5 minus 3 is 2. And for the d2 that would be the difference between the frequency of the model class minus after the model class which is 2 5 minus 2 is 3 and we have here the height or the class interval which is 7 okay so from 35 to 41 is uh, 7 nah? now we're going to substitute this values to our formula we have there so we have the lower boundary 21.5 d1 2 uh, d2 is 3 and the uh, i is 7 so we're going to simplify first here. So this, this would be 2 over 5. Okay, there we go. And we multiply this 2 times 7 is 14 over 5. Then we divide 14 divided by 5. That would be uh, 2.8. And we add that to our uh, lower uh, boundary, which is 34.5, or that becomes to the mode of 37.3. Okay? You don't understand my... Okay, now we go to the next model class. Since that we have two model class here. Okay, so we go with this 49 to 55. Okay, we have. Now uh, we have here again the formula. And we have the values. So the lower boundary will be 49 minus 0.5 or 48.5. Then B1, we have 5 minus 2. Okay, B4 minus that would be 3. And for D2 is after 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. 
And the class interval or the height is still the same, 7. 49 to 55 is 7. Okay? Now we have here again the formula and we substitute all the given for uh, values here to our formula. We have uh, the, the lower boundary. We have D1 is 3, D2 is uh, 4, and the I is 7. Okay? So we simplify first here. So this will be 3 over 7. And we can cut 7 to 7. So what would be left? We have 3. And we add with 48.5 or we have 51.5. Okay, so did you get the same answer with your uh, solution? Okay, I hope so. Now again, we go to the next example. This one. So here we have the scores obtained by some 5 slash 2 students from the recent exam. Okay, so these are the scores. And there are how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 28. Okay, students. Okay, who took that exam. Now, we're going to divide this into five classes and create a frequency table and find the mode, okay? Now, the first step is to, you're going to figure out is to find the range. Now, under the range, you need to know what is the maximum value and the minimum value, okay? So, we have here, as we can see from the data, what we have, that the maximum value is 25, right? 25. And the minimum value is 6. Okay? So we have 25 and 6 as our maximum and minimum value respectively. So you have there 25 minus 6 is 19. Okay? Now from here, we're going to figure out the class interval or the height. That would be the range divided by the number of classes, which is 5. So we divide 19 divided by 5 or that would be 3.8. Or approximately four okay now remember again that for a class interval if the if there would be decimal like 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 etc you will go to the next whole number okay next whole number just like this we have 3.8 so we go with four if you will have 3.2 you go with four the same okay now uh, we have here the table now the table so we have here the, the data and uh, we start uh, the table with 6 as the minimum value, okay? Now again, the, 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 uh, the height or the class interval is 4. So 6 to 9 is 4, 10 to 13 is 4, 14 to 17 is 4, 18 to 21 is 4, 22 to 25 is 4. And we have the frequency. Now again, the, our data here is 28. So we can count this. If this is 28, we have 10. We have 19, we have a 26, and 28. Okay, that's correct. It's complete. Now, we're going to know what is the model class by looking at the frequency. So we have here, okay, now this one, 9. So 9 is our, uh, the highest frequency, the most frequent. So therefore, our model class is with this range, 14 to 17. Okay? Now, we're going to get all the values from this model class. Nah? Now we have here again the formula. And we have here the, the data. So the lower boundary is uh, 13.5. And we have D1. Again, 9 minus 7. Before, we have 2. And again, for D2, 9 minus 7 as well, the same. That would be 2. And for the class interval or the height is 4, right? Okay, now again, apply this to our formula. We have there, we substitute all the given value uh, for the lower boundary. We have D1, 2, and D2 is 2, and we have the height, which is 4. Okay, now first is we're going to simplify in this part here. We have 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, so that would be 2 over 4, and... Uh, we can cut it with 4 here. So 4 and 4 will be cut. Okay. So we can cut this one. And what would be left? We have 2. Nah? So we can, uh, we're going to add that with the lower boundary. 13.5. Or that becomes 15.5 as our mode. Okay. For this model class or for this data set. 
Did you understand my? So I hope na that you understand about finding the mode for the uh, group data. Okay, remember that the steps that you need to follow from the beginning, we have here the data, right? Now from the data, you're going to figure out the range. Now under the range, you need to know what is the maximum value and the minimum value. You subtract it and you find the range. And after that, you will find the uh, class height, okay, or the class interval. That would be the range divided by the number of classes. Okay, so we have the uh, 19 divided by 5, or that would be uh, 3. Point, uh, what's that? 3.8, or that would be 4. Okay, now after that, uh, you're going to create now the frequency table starting from the uh, minimum value, then using the class interval, which is uh, 4, then get the frequency from the data here. And you get uh, now the, the, the values, okay? Substitute to the formula, and you can find now the mode for that data set. Okay, Mai? Do you have any question? Okay, so I hope that you understand that. Now, we have here our activity, this one. So, the same method uh, that you will do for this, the last example that we have. So this is the scores obtained by some of the 5 slash 2 students from the recent exam, okay? So these are the scores, and you're going to divide this into 5 classes, create a frequency table, and find the mode. Na? Okay, my? Okay. So again, that's all for today, and uh, we see you again next time. Bye-bye!